Hello there, welcome to my channel, Mo Moon. My name is Mo, welcome. Um, today I will be doing another video in my Cliffoth, Cliffoth Journeys um, video series. Today I will be talking about Golacab. So, I am going to read a little passage from this book, Tree of Quiffoth by the Temple of Ascending Flame, just to kind of introduce you to what Golakab is. <clears throat> Grab yourself a beverage if you want. I'm drinking mugwort tea. Golakab, the burning one, corresponding sephira gabura, which is strength. Golakab is the lake of fire and the pit of destruction, the fiercest and the most violent force of all Cliffoth. On the path of the dragon, this, this is the crowning of the path of the warrior that is initiated in the realm of Arabzarak by Baal and the dark Venus. The initiate becomes here the force of destruction and the bringer of the apocalypse, the living manifestation of the burning one. The demonic ruler of the Cliffa is the fiery lord of lust and wrath, Asmodeus, also referred to as Samael the Black, the one adorned with fire, or the one who rules in strength. The initiatory process of Golakab is violent and harsh. It is the way of pleasure and suffering, passion and fury, rapture and war. So this is uh, this, the, the Cliffoth Golakab. So let me tell you a little bit about the Tree of Cliffoth, something that dawned on me since I have entered Golakab just the other day, just yesterday. I entered Golakab on April 30th, 2024, and today is Wednesday the 29th of May. 2024. So tomorrow will be a month since I've entered the gates of Golakab. And what I learned about the tree of Cliffoth, this is, these are the dragons. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie Damsel. Um, it's a movie that they have on Netflix. It's about a dragon and a princess and uh, royal families. And spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie, um, also I will add a, disc, um, uh, I will add a um, trigger warning for this video. Spoiler, spoiler alert for the video, damsel, and trigger alert for this video about Gold Cab, just in case any topics come up that are triggering to some people. I'm just letting you know now, all the videos in this series could be triggering. So, um, the tree of Cliffoth is the path of the dragon. The, um, the knowledge, the gnosis of the dragon, the temple of ascending flame, the to rise like a dragon, um, a vessel of uh, draconian gnosis. And the tree of Cliffoth is the journey where you remember who you are and you regain your strength as a dragon because in the movie damsel the dragon is angry at humanity um and the dragon has been lied to so the dragon uh kills innocent people um under uh, illusion that there is a certain pretense when it is a completely different pretense. 
So as somebody who grew up um, being lied to, not maybe not uh, knowingly, maybe knowingly, I don't know if it was intentional, but I do feel that all my life I have believed something that wasn't true for me. And so I'm on the path of draconian gnosis, uh, climbing up this cliffothic tree and making it to the temple of the ascending flame, which is the temple of the dragon, uh, the ascending flame, the ascending flame of the dragon, the flame that rises. And so in this book, it talks about dragons a lot. Um, course it's called the temple of ascending flame and there are two dragons on this book it's not an idea of my own it's an idea that i've learned through this book and it's made sense to me since i've entered gola Cobb, that this is actually a, a journey of regaining my truth that i am a dragon who is good that i am a dragon who is helpful to the innocent to the downtrodden to the under uh the, the lower the undercast, the downcast, um, the people who can't help themselves, people who are innocent. Um, I, at the end of the movie, Damsel the Dragon is revealed the truth after a, a difficult fight, and the dragon helps the the, the bringer of truth uh, to regain power, and to the dragon helps the the seeker. So that is what this uh, Tree of Cliff Off is about. And that is something that only came to me uh, one, two days before my first, uh, two days before the month, a month passed since I entered Golakab. Now, I've had a lot of dreams since I've entered Golakab, a lot of dreams. Um, a lot of dreams about bugs, um, dreams about blood, dreams about scary dreams I, I never have scary dreams but I've had a lot of scary dreams where before they can't become frightening I figure something out to um, deactivate the trigger that would scare me um, now in the realm of Golakab ruled by King Asmodei um, the burning one there are nine hells, um, nine hells uh, in Golika, nine hells of Asmodeus. So this is a great book. I do recommend it if you're going to want to try to make your way through the cliff off yourself. I'll just show you the first hell. So there is a sigil for the first hell and it's called the catacombs. And there's a couple pages for each of the nine hells describing what the writer of this book uh, encountered in each of the nine hells. So this sigil I will use to enter into the first hell. Um, this sigil with Asmodeus's sigil, um, since Asmode rules this cliff off, King Asmode, um, I am familiar with King Asmodee. It's not a spirit that is new to me. I um, I've, I have his sigil on my body. I, I've already introduced myself. We already know each other. I already work with him. So this is not as scary as it, it could be. Um, I've already read through what each of the nine hells has to teach the initiate into the hell. Um, but the specific hell, but yeah, it's really weird because I've only entered the gates of Golakab, and as I said, I will enter the first hell uh, shortly, shortly um, on my next um, day to myself, my next free day, I do intend to enter the first hell, and that's where uh, the catacombs, so this is the first hell, the catacombs, and in each hell there is um, suffering, um, there is ecstasy uh, in one of them. The, and I think what this uh, cliff off is gonna be about is duality and how to see something, how to experience pain 
but how to how to uh, experience pain while feeling uh, separate from that pain. It's really weird because up until now, since I've entered Golika, um, I've had a lot of painful experiences, a lot of difficult lessons, a lot of difficult experiences, a lot of very painful experiences mentally, um, physically, uh, on the day side, which the, the tree of the Kapath is the night side, the, but, and, and this astral realm. But on the day side, like I've been challenged, I've gotten sick a number, number of times. Um, I mean, I've faced death a couple times. Um, it's really weird. Like, but now that I'm in Golakab, all those painful situations, like when I remember them, I just feel so good. Like, I feel like I'm in the energy that I experienced in the past cliff offs. Uh, and not all of them were that bad. I think Arab Zarak was pretty good. Like I learned how to uh, jive with the Peacock King, Adramalek, and, um, you know, um, embrace the energy of saving money. But for the most part, I think I told you that in Thagirion, I finally came to the realization that I am a victorious warrior. And um, I, when I first decided I would go, when I first decided um, to go into Golakab, I decided that I wasn't going to uh, be showing any interest in the Nine Hells. <clears throat> Um, because I'm not the type of person that likes suffering. And when I say I'm not the type of person that likes suffering, obviously nobody wants to suffer, but I don't like to see other people suffering either. So I didn't really want to delve into the suffering that is encountered in the nine hells, but it's sort of a challenge for the uh, traveler such as myself now it's a challenge to the traveler to overcome adversity um, and I feel like this is going to be a more mental adversity but uh, I've read ahead in the book like I read all about the nine hells and I really do feel like I can overcome each of the nine hells uh, victoriously um, so instead of just going from Golakab to Gag Shabla I think it is Golakab to Gag Shabla, Gag Shabla, the next one after. Um, instead of just going from Golakab to Gag Shabla, I'm going to go from Golakab to the first hell, from the first hell to the second hell, from the second hell to the third hell, from the third hell to the fourth hell, from the fourth hell to the fifth hell, from the fifth hell to the sixth hell, from the sixth hell to the seventh hell, from the seventh hell to the eighth hell. From the eighth hell to the ninth hell, and then from the ninth hell to Gag Shabla. So it's it's uncertain exactly the full extent of what will, I will experience in Golika, but up until this point, what I've described is what I've experienced, what I've learned. I've been really excited to go to bed because I'm really interested in my dreams. Um, They've just been so vibrant and vivid and so interesting. Um, some some of them, like most of them, all of them, I can't stop thinking about and just trying to piece the pieces together to kind of find out what, what I'm being prepared for. Um, because I do feel like I'm being prepared to make the next move into the first hell. And, I'm planning on doing that in uh, the first or second week of June. My um, my uh, traje trajectory is to enter uh, one hell every month. So since there are nine hells, uh, a month ago I entered the gates of, of Golikab. Uh, this is a month later, I will be entering the first hell. So in total, it will take me if everything goes according to plan, it will take me 10 months <clears throat> to get through Golakab. 
um, which is the longest amount of time I've taken on any of the cliff off. Usually I take a month to two months for each cliff off. And this, uh, this will take me, if I follow the trajectory, 10 months to get through. And I think it's worth it because I don't really want to rush through the lessons. I feel like, you know, it's really exciting to think that I could finish this journey and get to, um, I believe it's Thamael, the last cliff off. Sorry, I'm trying to find the light name of the last clip off. Yeah, Thalmayo, the twin god at the top of the tree. So I can't remember where I, where I, when I started this journey. I think it was last year or 2023, October 2023 or something. Um, but I don't want to rush the journey because what's the point of rushing? Like. You can learn so much in taking your time with things that as much as I want to like say, yeah, I completed the tree, you know, like I did it. I, 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 if you rush it, if you skip things that you know you're supposed to do, if you don't do it with your whole heart, um, no one else, no one else is going to care because they're not the ones who are missing out. It's going to be me if that's missing out, if I don't take my time. So. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I forgot to talk about. I don't think so. Let me know down below if, if you have heard that there's anything to do with bugs, like, like swarms of bugs, um, weird bugs, bugs transforming into animals, like, um, weird situations where you're in a, 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 a dangerous situation, but you somehow avoid it. Like, let me know if you have heard anything about Golakab and those types of situations. But if you read the invocation for Asmodeus in this book, both of the invocations, you realize that the challenge of Golakab is to he, they give the example of BDSM and how um, it's sexual, but it's also painful at the same time. And so the example is that in Gola Cobb, you learn how to find ecstasy and suffering in the same vessel. Um, and it's interesting because I did say that I've been experiencing memories of the past and they've made me feel really good and usually if I had been in that energy I would have felt horrible in the past but now when I'm in that energy I just feel really good so that's the journey so far into Golakab through the gates um let me know what you think leave a response if you want um like comment and subscribe and share this if you want It'd be interesting to know if any of you are going through the cliff off. So if you're thinking about it, I definitely would recommend this book. It's not expensive. And if you can connect the dots, you can get through the cliff off on your own without buying a super expensive book. Um, it doesn't walk you walk you through the cliff off in, with hand in hand. Like it's not going to hold your hand and get you through the cliff off but it will give you the bones of what you need to assemble the journey. Um, yeah, and I got it on Amazon. So yeah, if, if anybody's thinking about it. Um, so I guess that's it. Uh, I will leave a little video of um, my, um, my workings um, to enter through the gates of Golakab, my ritual, I guess I could say, um, at the end of this video. So yeah, I hope this was helpful and I will see you after I enter the first hell. Bye.